Hey, I want to help make the case for wooden toys. So why would you choose a wooden toy over some of the more modern plastic toys? Well, for one reason, wood is a renewable resource. We can always get more wood, we can plant more wood, so it's better for the environment. It's also biodegradable, so a wood toy, even if for some reason it ends up in a landfill, uh, it's going to degrade over time. It's not going to sit in the landfill for uh, hundreds of thousands of years like some of the, the nasty plastics that we have. So this is a choice that is better for the earth. Wooden toys are also more durable, so unlike uh, plastic toys that can chip or break or freeze and become brittle, uh, wooden toys are, are very strong. They're made to last, which means that they're perfect for kids who play rough with them. And there's also a craftsmanship element to a wooden toy because in most cases they're done by hand. Uh, the gift of them is they feel better. They, you know, they're heavier, they have a, a, a bigger weight, uh, and, and so you can tell that somebody's taking some care in creating it. So how are wooden toys made? Well, the first step in making a wooden toy is having a rough cut or taking uh, a size or one piece of material, block of wood, and taking it down into a rough cut of whatever it is that you're trying to craft. Uh, and then from that, the prominent features are either cut or they're sanded in, and this is where the detail starts to come into play. Uh, and you can really take shape its final form. Then if necessary, or if it is, it's painted. Uh, if not, it's left alone. And then the last step is that any moving parts are combined. That's really all there is to it. And in fact, uh, even if you are not comfortable with working in wood, they have wooden toy kits that you can use uh, to make your own wooden toys that are pretty cool. So what are the most common wooden toys? Well, there are alphabet blocks, and these are kind of a mainstay. In fact, most small children have an alphabet block toy uh, at one time or another. The second most common one that are sold today is wooden puzzles. And then the last one is wooden trains. Now, wooden trains became popular in the 1930s and 1940s in America and around the 1950s uh, in Europe. And interestingly enough, the gauge or the width, the track, uh, has stayed relatively consistent throughout that time. In conclusion, wooden toys are mainstay. They always have been and they always will be. And there are thousands of options available for you. If you're looking for a gift, you're looking for a toy for your own child, uh, and I advise you or recommend to you that you shop our selection available at www.mykittiesworld.co.uk.